America's biggest fast food chain keeps running into huge problems. Well, we all love McDonald's, from its tasty burgers and fries to its refreshing drinks. However, this experience is about to be cut short as the fast food company finds itself in an enormous crisis. A problem that has been brought about by numerous factors that have hit McDonald's in every corner. The company is facing so many hardships that things could be coming to an end for the food giant. This means its current value of $214 billion could soon turn to dust if it doesn't find an immediate solution to the crisis. So what's happening at McDonald's? One core factor that is haunting McDonald's is their inability to abide by the law. The food chain has been hit by numerous lawsuits in which it has had to pay hefty fines. Similarly, it has paid a whopping $45 million in cases since 2000 alone. If we decide to go back before 2000, this may be nearly double. In a quick summary of crimes committed, $36.2 million were paid for committing employee-related offenses and $8.6 million for violating the safety standards of a workplace. The last portion of $82,000 was paid for environmental-related offenses. Recently, the company has employed 300 underage children, and most of them get very low pay. This offense attracted a penalty of $212,000, and this conviction shocked many since most people thought McDonald's wouldn't do this, and it's damaged their reputation. Aside from this, the second factor that is giving McDonald's a hard time is inflation. Inflation has proved to be an intimidating challenge and has adversely affected many chains to the extent that some have had to shut down. Likewise, McDonald's has not been excluded from this economic wrath as they are feeling the itch already. This has forced the company to adjust the prices of its meals. For example, the average cost of burgers in the U.S. has hit $5, whereas in Switzerland, it's around $7. The sudden rise has affected their worldwide outlets, and the response to this by food lovers is worrying regarding the profitability of the company. Even though McDonald's is making sales, this does not rule out the fact that many people have toned down on buying its food. Inflation has caused many consumers to limit their spending habits since they are very budget wary. For example, if a customer was buying food at McDonald's on a daily basis, they may now resort to visiting the restaurant once a week or even once a month. Such behaviors have limited the company's ability to maximize higher revenues. Statistically, inflation has caused its market share to drop from 6% to 2.5%. Interestingly, the company did not experience a decline in 2022 and this sudden turn of the tables in 2023 causes a lot of concern. Supply chain issues are the third factor on the list that is paralyzing McDonald's operations. The Russia-Ukraine war fueled these sudden closures. Russia and Kazakhstan share a border, and Kazakhstan relies on Russia for most all of its supplies. As a consequence, 24 cities in Kazakhstan ceased operations of their outlets and more than 2,000 employees were fired. Besides this, supply chain issues have affected their stores in the United Kingdom. The shortage of tomatoes in the UK has paralyzed the making of the burgers because, well, it's a major ingredient. The supply chain remains a biting concern for which the company has yet to find a remedy. The aftermath of the COVID pandemic and the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war is the fourth factor. The ongoing backlash between Russia and Ukraine has hurt McDonald's sales margins. Shockingly, it lost $55 million every month in sales, and this has caused numerous closures in Russia. As the war lingers on, probability of permanent closures in these two countries remains high. Apart from this, the impact of COVID-19 is still being felt. Specifically, its outlets in China have recorded low profitability due to issues such as Chinese restrictions and the COVID resurgence. This has led to frequent store closures in the country since business is not booming. The fifth factor on the list is that McDonald's is strangled by gigantic debt. The company is now in a debt trap as its borrowing appetite increases. In fact, its debt currently stands at $36.6 billion which is a billion-dollar increase over 2022. 
This alone shows that the borrowing trend will keep going higher, and we all know what that means. We have seen companies liquidate their assets to fully finance debt, and McDonald's is almost knocking at this very vicious door. The debt has taken a substantial share of its revenue since it has to meet financial obligations or risk being declared bankrupt by the court. The debt-paying responsibility has seen the company's growth stagnate, and this puts a lot of pressure on profit margins. The sixth factor is the high turnover rate, which is depriving McDonald's of the chance of attracting a competent workforce. We all know how employees play an important role in the profitability of a company, and McDonald's does seem to utilize its status to retain them. As per the stats, they have an annual employee turnover rate of 130%. Quite shocking, right? So, what's the cause of this high turnover rate? Well, for a long time, the company has been paying its employees very poorly, while the working conditions in which such employees work are horrible. Many of their workers have demonstrated on the streets, citing low wages. For example, protests took place in the U.S., specifically on Viejo Road in the Lincoln area, where McDonald's workers aired out their grievances. In another recent complaint, a worker cited that they are even working below $10 per hour. And this is by far not the end. It gets worse. Employees have also complained about sexual harassment. All these are the core reasons why many employees don't work at McDonald's for long because they feel demotivated by how the company is treating them. Many workers have resigned when they found greener pastures elsewhere, and this raises a lot of concern for the company's operations. Soon, we will likely hear that some stores are closed because they are understaffed since no one wants to work for a company with that kind of reputation. Next up is the high crime rate, which is fueling numerous shutdowns in various locations. Some of the company's outlets have been positioned in theft-prone areas, and this places the lives of employees who work in such locations in danger. For example, a location in Ottawa, Canada became a hub where criminal syndicates operated and did deals. For safety concerns, that location stopped operations permanently. The crime situation is so serious that the CEO of McDonald's, Chris Kempinski, pleaded that it's high time for the authorities to tame this situation that has gotten so out of hand. He went ahead to acknowledge areas where security should be tightened, mentioning the likes of Chicago. And lastly, McDonald's has been grappling with high operating costs, which are seemingly increasing the chances of its collapsing. As per the reports, the operation costs have accumulated to as much as $13.81 billion. This huge wage bill has taken up the largest portion of expenses, and the company is finding it hard to sustain its workers. This has attracted a lot of tough measures, such as job cuts and wage reductions, to strike a balance in the books. All of these eight figures have integrated to form one huge problem, and the company seems to be losing its footing in the situation with no apparent solution found. The bigger question is, shall we witness the company downsizing itself, or will there be a sudden mana from heaven to come to the rescue? Well, we shall soon see.